Hey guys, Andy here at Grunge. This is going to be part two of our video and uh, in this video we're going to demonstrate our kit uh, running on propane. So this EU3000 IS here is converted with our kit. Uh, our kit is tri a tri-fuel kit. So what we have here today is uh, three uh, 1500 watt uh, heaters. So there's three of them, 1500 watt, 1500 watt, and 1500 watt is maybe a little bit overkill for the generator, but we're just gonna basically turn on two, read what it says. And the third one, uh, I'm quite, quite curious to see what happens if we turn on the third one. It may throw an overload alarm, it may shut the genera generator off, but we're gonna see how far we're gonna push um, this generator running on propane and kind of see if there's any kind of uh, power loss uh, when running on propane. So let's get started here. Oh, quick mention here, a uh, quick introduction of our kit. Uh, our kit currently mounts right here. Uh, 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 some other folks ask us, okay, what makes us different from other kits other than uh, uh, us using an aluminum fuel adapter is uh, the demand regulator. Some other brands would require you to drill holes in the generator or, or somehow modify the generator to accommodate the kit. We don't do any of that. This lower panel gets replaced here and it has provisions for the quick connect. And there's no, this is basically a no drill kit. So others would require to have you drill a hole here for the quick connect or mount this demand regulator here within bracket. And we don't do any of that. We try to make this thing uh, factory uh, install and look like factory essentially. And if need be, you can reverse install all this kit. And, uh, and since this is a non-intrusive kit, uh, it makes it a lot nicer to install. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn this generator on. Make sure the valve is open here. And sometimes you gotta tilt the generator. I mean, excuse me, you gotta tilt the demand regulator up. You hear that hiss. Put this blue cap underneath it. Kind of hard doing this one-handed here. Make this sure this Ikaro mode is off. Everything's okay. Nice she starts up great. Let's check how she idles, low idle. Very nice. read what she says 125 volts 125 uh, 74 watts to possibly uh, a little bit of a voltage drop in the suspension cord so it's all right 60 Hertz is your amps at the moment so let's go ahead turn the first one on so 1.5 kilowatts so 1500 watts let's try the other one oh 2.8 kilowatts. Remember, the EU3000 has a uh, surge uh, wattage of 3,000 and, and running watts of 2,800. So it looks just about right. Uh, 2,800 watts running, and the voltage looks very much stable. So you don't want the voltage to drop below 100 volts. You want to keep it at between 130 to 100 and the frequency needs to be at 60. If that frequency drops, it's, uh, it's not good. But it looks like everything's holding up. 2.3 amps, that's quite a bit of a load there. Still chugging along, doing great. Uh, now, out of curiosity, we're gonna turn the third one on and see what happens. So let's see if propane can keep up with uh, the generator here. So we we'll turn that on. All right, we turn it full tilt. 100 voltage looks good. Uh, kilowatts, 2.8 kilowatts looks the same. I believe the reason why it's not going up is due to the limitation of the inverter. The inverter is not allowing it to uh, go over that. But looks like they're still on here. Overload light hasn't come on yet. 
go ahead and turn that off. I'm going to try this test again. Alright, everything is off. Here's the uh, voltage reading. Turn this one on. Two. Oh, looks like it killed itself. <laughs> yep, the overlight, overload light did come on. So we're gonna have to shut it off and this time I'm gonna turn on the heater slowly. Maybe that would help out better. So I'm gonna shut it off. Overload light did come on, so you gotta shut it off and reset it. Try this again one more time. goes. Turn that off. All right. Heater number one. Heater number two. And I'm going to slowly turn on heater number three. See how far I'll go up. Maybe I'll hit up to three kilowatts. Oh, almost. It just jumped to almost up 2.9. Thing's still going. I'm only at that setting. Going more. 2.8. Looks like the inverter unit won't let it go any, go any further than that. All right, this is on full, full blast. You got all three of them going. Yep, you just stopped yourself. I would say that was uh, pretty impressive. So, like I said, running watts is 2,800 watts, and it sure enough did that. And turning on a third heater, uh, obviously, would probably throw the overload light on, but it still ran. Uh, the limitations of it going any further is just due to the inverter not going, um, only supporting up to 2,800 watts, and it and it saved itself by you know shutting itself off. But it's to be expected. But Hey, it's pretty impressive. Uh, looks like it was just uh, just the same as running on gasoline. I don't see much power loss, or if any, because it reads in here pretty good. But, all right, guys, uh, if there's any comments or questions, uh, hit me up, uh, let me know. I'll, uh, uh, later on, I'll probably uh, do some uh, videos of uh, accessories on for this uh, generator here, especially the hose extension kit uh, when connecting to natural gas or uh, doubling up on two propane tanks. Uh, I'll probably do that in part part three of the video or part four. All right, thanks. Bye.